where it gets, we're going to be finding the number of terms in a geometric series. And you can see in question one, they're asking us to find the number of terms. So we want to know what the, what, how many terms in this geometric series are required to make the sum 1,143. So we'll simply find, the first, firstly, the first term, which is the first one in the list, which is simply 9, guys. That's our first term. Now the common ratio, we can do that by doing 18 divided by 9 or 36 divided by 18. Both will give you the same answer. I'll just do 18 divided by 9 and that will give us 2. So we multiply 2 each time to get every consecutive number, don't we? And we don't know what n is. That's unknown. That's what we want to find, isn't it? So we're going to be using our series formula. I'm going to use this formula, guys. Usually, guys, when the common ratio is greater than 1, I usually, I usually like to use this formula r to the power of n minus 1 over r minus 1, where r comes first. But usually if the um, common ratio is less than 1, I prefer using the other one. It's just easier to solve that way um, in terms of algebra. So preferably I like you to use this when the ratio is greater than 1. In this case it is. Um, so I'm going to use this one. I'm going to put all my values in. So see how a is 9, the common ratio is 2, and n we don't know. And, but we want the sum to be equal to 1,143, so we have to find n. Now you can see that 2 minus 1 is just 1, so we don't have to write the denominator. And the 9 out the front, I'll just divide it over to the other side. 1,143 divided by 9, that's 127. Now the negative 1, I'll add it over, so it becomes 128. And then 2 to the power of what is 128, guys? Now you can do a bit of trial and error guys, I've realized that 2 to the power 7 is 128, so therefore n must simply be 7. So we need 7 terms in this geometric series to make the sum 1143. That's what that means. Now let's go to question 2. The sum of the first 6 terms of a geometric series is 315, and the common ratio is 0 0.5. Alright guys, first of all what we want to do is find the first term. Now we don't know what the first term is, we have to find that, but we do know what the common ratio is, and they do tell us that the sum of the first six terms is 315, so I'm going to utilize that information. So we'll use our sum formula. Let's see how this time I'm actually using the one different to question one. I'm using the 1 minus r to the power of n, so 1 minus r. This one, I'm going to use this version of the series formula. And that's because the common ratio was less than 1 this time, so if it's less than 1, I prefer you to use this one. It's just easier to solve during your algebra steps. So try to stick to this one now. So keep an eye on what the common ratio is. If it's greater than 1, you'd use the other one. If it's less than 1, you'd use this one. Um, but anyway, we, know, we don't know what the first term is. That's what we want to find. The common ratio r will be 0 0.5. And n, we're going to be using 6. So see how I did 1 minus the 0 0.5, the common ratio to the power 6. And again, 1 minus 0 0.5 of the denominator. Because see how that sum is equal to 315. So now we can find A by using our algebra. Now to get rid of fractions, guys, we multiply by the reciprocal. So see, if I multiply this side by the reciprocal, the flip of this, 1 minus 0 0.5 over 1 minus 0 0.5 to the power of 6, if I flip it around, the left-hand side will only have A left. So the left-hand side is just A, and you multiply the other side by the reciprocal of that fraction, just like that. And then what you can do now is just plug all of those values in the calculator and get 160. So A is simply 160, guys. That's all you need to do. So I'm going to write that underneath my part A. We've got my first term now. So find the sum of the first, sorry, the, find the sum of the second six terms. We know what the first six terms add to. We know that it adds to 315. What we want to do is find the sum of the next six terms, so the second lot of six terms. So this first six terms is basically first term, so T1 all the way to T6, isn't it? First term to the sixth term. But the next lot of six terms would be the seventh term all the way to the twelfth term. That would make the next, the second lot of six terms, isn't it? So be careful here, guys. That's what they're asking. Now, to get that part only, remember from the first term all the way to the twelfth term, if I drew the first term, see, T1, T2, all the way to T12, because the sum formula, guys, in a geometric series only gives us the, um, the sum of term 1 all the way to whatever we want. So what I'm going to do is just do term 1 all the way to term 2. We're going to sum that up. But because we just want from term 7 onwards, I'm going to subtract away the term 1 to term 6s. So I'm going to subtract away all this lot. Do you see that, guys? 
So, you know that term 1 all the way to term 12 is given by the sum of 12 terms. Sum of first term to 12 term is S12, sum of 12 terms. And if I subtract away the sum of the first six terms, I'd remain with the sum of the next six terms, the second lot of six terms. That's what I'm going to do. So we know what the first term is. We've just found it, 160. We know what the common ratio is, 0 0.5. I'm going to put it into our formula for each individual case. So I'm going to try to put this one into the formula and also this into our formula of sum. And you can see I'm still using this one here. So let's put it in, guys. So A is 160, so you can see that 160 is at the front for both. The 0 0.5 is the ratio, so I've made the common ratio 0 0.5 for all the cases, but the only difference between these two expressions is that the N, the power is, the power here for the first one is going to be um, 12, and the power here for the second one is going to be 6. Can you see that? And then the whole lot, we'll subtract it together. Just use your calculator very carefully for me, guys, and we'll get uh, 0 0.92 something. It's going to be quite a long decimal. That's what you can leave it at. So that's the sum of the next lot of six terms, and that's how you would apply that.